boxing now and it's judgment night on saturday night on the billing amir khan against ocean fagan let's go live to the weigh-in and join craig slater craig yeah, we're all set to go here. Virtually all the fighters in place. I have to say, Audley Harrison hasn't been spotted yet, but we know he does like to arrive fashionably late. But uh, Glenn McCrory's alongside me. He'll be interpreting events here. But is this a nervous time for the fighters, Glenn, when they come in and weigh in? It's a very nervous time. This is a time you want to get over. You want to make the weight, and then, then you can relax a little bit. Okay, good stuff, Glenn. Well, let's get straight to it, then. Let's not keep the boxers waiting. And if we can... Uh bring in our stand-in MC for the day, Robert Smith, the General Secretary of the British Boxing Board of Control, who's going to be conducting affairs. Take it away, Robert. <laughs> Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the weigh-in for the show at the Excel Centre tomorrow. Can I please bring to the scales at the top of the bill for the vacant WBO Cruiserweight Championship, Francisco Alvarez and Enzo Macronelli. OK, that's the, the two cruiserweights on the bill. Enzo Macronelli uh, hoping to recapture the WBO Cruiserweight title. Cruiserweight limit now, 200 pounds, Glenn. That's four pounds more than your fighting days. Does that help the guys? It's actually 10 pounds more. It was 38 in my day, so it's, it's, a, it's a big help now. It's um, much more comfortable. And Enzo Macronelli, uh, he's been in training camp. He said uh, twice he's had his comeback delayed, so uh, he's desperate for a fight. Yeah, but Enzo's always made the weight pretty comfortable. I don't think he struggles with it. Sometimes he's actually underweight. We see, of course, the one, one fighter at a time, and we're looking for... Uh, Francisco Alvarez to come up and step on the scales. He's at a last-minute uh, replacement, of course. Uh, Enzo has, has, uh, Francisco Alvarez, sorry, he's been called up scales. now. Let's, let's get our first look at him. This will be Enzo Macronelli's oh. first look at Francisco Alvarez as well. He's got uh, uh, an 11 fight record, uh, nine wins by way of knockout, and just the one defeat. But uh, we're just waiting for him to arrive. And here he is, he's just getting stripped off alongside us. And it looks like Enzo will have quite a big height uh, advantage there, Glenn. Yeah, but I think he will. And, and, you know, but it's difficult. Alvarez is coming in at very late notice, so a change of opponent always makes you a little more nervous. You don't know what you're going to get. And uh, Enzo, he's been talking the talk in the run-up to this. Uh, he's just seeing how desperate he is just to okay. get back in action after eight months uh, yeah. since that David Hay defeat. But uh, here comes Alvarez now. Just watch the floor. Tap on, please. Yeah, he's quite a stocky fellow, isn't he? He's quite stocky. He looks like he's carrying a little bit of condition, doesn't he? He doesn't look in the, the greatest of, of shape. But he has took this at late notice. Let's see, we're having to convert the weights because the scales are in metric. 14, 14, but we're going to get the official announcement in stones and 14 now. stone, four and a quarter pounds. So there we have it. Got to go and lose a quarter of a pound. He's got to lose a quarter of a pound. So he's got uh, two hours to take that weight oh, off for the championship fight to go ahead. Next well, let's scale, please, for him Enzo because Macronelli. He's come a long way and then he's overweight, so he's got to get weight off already, which is what you don't want prior to a world title fight. Let's take a look at Enzo now. He looks in great condition, but he has been in training camp for about 20 weeks, all told, this year. Yep, he okay. looks very good. He's very tall, makes the cruise weight limit well normally. 13, 13! So there he is. Yeah, so he's uh, comfortably... Right. Inside the, the, the limit. No, 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 no. Yeah, as I thought, he, he makes the weight easy. The weight he's now. big, he's got the good height and reach advantages over Alvarez, and Alvarez now has to, to lose a quarter of a pound. Okay, so let's, uh, we'll have to keep an eye on that one then. We'll update you on that uh, throughout uh, the afternoon. Uh, two hours, remember, that Francisco Alvarez will to, to have to lose that weight, to have the, the world title fight on the bill to go ahead as a bona fide title fight, but we will keep you updated on that. Next, we expect uh, Amir Khan and Oshin Fagan, uh, the comeback fighter. Next to the scale for, for the vacant WBO International Lightweight Championship. Please welcome to the scales Oshin Fagan and Amir Khan. So the two fighters, no fans are allowed into this uh, way in. This is behind closed doors, so it's just uh, the boxing fraternity here. But it'll uh, be interesting to see just the body language of the two guys as they sort of get stripped off and sort of take a look at each other and see what sort of condition the opponent's in. Well, I think both of them will work very, very hard. It means so much to both fighters. This for different reasons. Um, I think they're, they're both going to be a little bit tense and a bit nervous. This is a big occasion. And of course, uh, Oshin Fagan in particular, he's, uh, really is a big chance for him. He's had to work his way up the hard way. I mean, you, you know what it's like when you're maybe not the favoured fighter, not the house fighter. You, okay, you have Oshin. to earn your chance unless you'll be desperate to take it. He is on the scales now. Well, he looks in decent condition. He's worked pretty hard. And this is a man who's gone into the, the lines down a few times for big, uh, big fights. Took Julius Cesar Chavez, nine, his nine, son, eight. to a... To a nine position. stone, so, eight you know, and a half capable. pound! So half a pound inside the lightweight limit for Rasheen Fagan. He does look in so great shape. Probably the best preparation he's had for a fight in his career. Let's see Amir Khan now. 
Well, Amir Cohen's had fantastic preparation, as we know, in Los Angeles with Freddie Roach, always well. And I've just told him before, he's very, very confident and he feels very calm and relaxed. Yes, yeah, uh, really had a, a tough camp, Amir Khan. Well, let's get the official weight now. They're just converting. They're just uh, converting the weight, so we'll get the official announcement now. I'd expect him to be pretty close. He's not. He's not. He's very calm and relaxed, doesn't he? Uh, you know, it must be a lot going through his head, though, as he, as he you know, comes back to the ring after that shattering defeat. Three ounces Tremendous over. amount of pressure on him, and he's overweight, which is the, the first little stumbling block that he's got to overcome. They wouldn't have planned for that. And he's just outside the nine stone nine limit by the looks of it, so I'm afraid he's going to have to strip naked. They're trying to find a towel so they can just uh, protect his modesty, as it were. We'll cover this as, uh, as conservatively as we can. <laughs> But uh, just a, a few smiles <laughs> around he, he still, here. He still looks calm. I think he's pretty confident that you know, he's on the way. Just got to remove his underwear. This does happen now and again at uh, these championship wins. But it, you do have to insist upon uh, you know, no fighter gaining an advantage by, by, by not making the weight. Uh, you know, Oshin Fagas had to work hard to, to get down to 9 stone 9. So Amir Khan is going to have to make that weight. He's going to do it naked if he can. Keep still. Well, he's got to keep very still now. <laughs> Yeah. And I think he's going to be nine stone close. nine pounds. And there he on the weight. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the, well, that's the way you're meant to do it. To actually hit the weight when you're exactly on the scales. So, uh, so uh, that's good news. So, yep, we have uh, at least that fight has, has been cleared up. Uh, Amir Khan and Oshin Fagan both on the lightweight limit. But uh, a bit of work to do for Francisco Alvarez uh, to see if he can set up that fight with. Uh, with, uh, with Enzo Macarelli. Let's take a look at the two fighters facing off, not making eye contact. Both look very calm. Uh, and uh, I think Amir Khan looking for a mature, rounded performance this time. He's, he's been out there working with, uh, with uh, Freddie Roach out in Los Angeles. And there is an extra maturity about him, isn't there? Yeah, but I think there's a lot of mutual respect between these two. They're good professionals. They know what they've got to do. And I think that both guys will leave the fight to, to in the ring. Okay, gents, thanks very much. Good That's natured, uh, a bit of a smile okay, between well, the two. But the next time they meet, it will be serious Coming business. There'll be the no friendliness now. at Ten, all there. Let's see if we can grab a, a quick word, possibly, if we can, with, uh, with Amir Khan. He's just going to put his coat on it and come over to speak to us. But if you do stay with us, uh, we'll, we'll get a quick word with, with Amir Khan and see what, what he thought about that uh, little eyeball-to-eyeball -eyeball exchange he had there with Oshin Fagan. I mean, what did you read into the body language there, Glenn? Well, I, I think they were both calm. I think there's a mutual respect between the two. They know what they've got to do, and um, it's a bit, you know, it's, it's very, very nervous for, for both of them. They've, they've both got tough tasks, and the Ocean Figures has got a marvellous opportunity to dethrone Amir Khan once and for all. Amir Khan has, to, has a rebuilding process. He's got to prove he's back. 16 stone, 8 pounds. Just seeing there, uh, Martin Rogan Audley on the scales. Uh, 16 stone, 8 pounds. He's uh, going to be fighting, of course, Audley Harrison on the, on the third main uh, fight on this uh, XL Arena bill. But... Uh, Oddly, just looking around to see if there's any sign of him. He doesn't appear to be there, but uh, we expect him to be coming in at about 17 stone 10 or 12. So Audley Harrison ought to have uh, a significant weight advantage in that fight. So, uh, but we can now, I think, quickly speak to Amir Khan uh, live, which is a, a bit of a bonus for us. Uh, Amir, uh, always a nervous time making the weight and an irritating time, but uh, you had to, to shed the last few ounces in dramatic yeah, fashion but that's the way to do it I guess that's right yeah you know best to stay on top of the way uh, at the top of the way I should have uh, I think I should have left breakfast out this morning <laughs> I would have made the way a lot easier but you know I was on the way I was dead on on the way and I made it now done the hard bit mentally how do you feel uh, approaching this again the comeback fight uh, you know I know you've had hard sparring that's helped to shake some of the cobwebs away oh yeah you know it's been, it's been a tough training camp and you know I'm confident I'm gonna go in that fight with full of confidence and I've done the hard work in the gym it's all about going in there now and doing the job just finally then just maybe set it up for us what sort of fight are we in store for I think this is gonna go a few rounds oh yeah it's gonna go a few rounds you know I want it to go a few rounds I don't want to walk in there and you know put my way straight away I'm gonna get in there uh, box him a little bit you know get get back into it properly and then just let it all flow and hopefully I'll be alright okay, good talking to you thanks for taking the time Amir yep Amir is gonna go off now and get a bit of fluid back inside his system but he is uh, in a confident mood clearly I think the defeat he certainly learned from that against Bredis Prescott in September and as well I think that time he spent with Freddie Roach over in Los Angeles really has toughened him up I think uh, 
maybe some of the mental demons that having had that knockout defeat were shaken out of him in some tough sparring uh, sessions over there. I think he's going to look to come out, dictate against Oshin Fagan and really put in a complete performance. But it will be interesting. Is that vulnerability with his chin still there? We'll only find out tomorrow night, of course, exclusively on Skybox Office. Okay, thanks so much.